Welcome to Benny Douglas Football Stadium in David Wood Field here in Muleshoe for the seventh game of the 2023 season for the Muleshoe Mules and the opening of District 2 3A action tonight as they take on a real test. The Bushland Falcons are in town to play. The Mules, of course, are perfect on the season so far at 6 and 0. Oh. And Bushland is an impressive 5-1 on the 2023 season as their only loss has been to a powerful Canadian football team. And our broadcast of the Mule Shoe Mules football live stream brought to you here on MuleshoeTV.com. Gillam Advertising by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Mule Shoe Animal Clinic, and Vet Supply. Muleshoe Independent School District, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, Mohawk Auto Parts, WTG Fuels, Edward Jones and Stephen DeMint, McDonald's Restaurant, Dell Oil Company, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, irrigation pumps and power and our internet connection our high speed internet connection provided for our live stream tonight from Benny Douglas Football Stadium by Five Area Telephone West Plains Telecommunications thanks to them very much we'll have our voice of the Mule Sheep Mules Elliot Davis with our pregame here in just a few moments and we'll, then the kickoff will be at 7 p.m. from Benny Douglas Football Stadium then we'll have all four uh, quarters of football action live tonight along with the Mighty M Marching Band and their halftime show. So stay tuned. All that coming up shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, football fans far and wide, welcome to a momentous evening right here in David Whitfield, nestled within the iconic Benny Douglas Stadium for tonight's opening district matchup between your Milshoe Mills and the Bushland Falcons. I'm Elliot Davis, the voice of the Mills, coming to you under the Friday Night Lights with MealshoeTV.com. From touchdowns to tackles and every heart-stopping moment in between, we're here to capture it all so you won't miss a beat. Milshu comes in 6-0. They have wins against Littlefield, 48-20. La Misa, 68-6. Friona, 48-28. Uh, Tulia, 61-7. Abernathy, 47-0. And Brownfield, 48-21. Milshu comes in ranked number 10 in the state this week in the 3A Division I in Dave Campbell's Texas football poll, also the AP poll. Bushland, 5-1. They come into district play, beating Canyon West Plains, 47-41. Trillers, 42-13. Borger, 25-0. Dumas, 28-17. El Paso Riverside, 63-28. They did lose in the second week uh, to a really, really good Canadian team, 55-35. to 35. And uh, to represent tonight's game, everybody's wearing pink for cancer awareness for October. Here is your Milshu Mule lineup. 
Zero, Aaron Morales, wide receiver, linebacker, junior. Number one, Yahir Kazeda, wide receiver, defensive back, junior. Two, Nathan Martins, quarterback, defensive back, junior. Number three, Mauricio Herrera, wide receiver, defensive back, junior. Four, Ryan Dominguez, quarterback, defensive back, junior. Six, Johnny Hernandez, wide receiver, defensive back, sophomore. Seven, Sebastian Kervin, wide receiver, linebacker, senior. Eight, Angel Cabrera, wide receiver, defensive back, junior. Ten, Josue Sigala, wide receiver, defensive back, freshman. Eleven, Donovan Moreno, wide receiver, linebacker, junior. Twelve, Hayden Burris, running back, linebacker, junior. Thirteen, Kazak Herrera, wide receiver, defensive line, senior. 14, Matt Hoff, running back, linebacker, sophomore. 16, Brayton Butler, quarterback, defensive line, sophomore. 17, Nehemiah Sanchez, wide receiver, linebacker, junior. 20, Jermaine Flores, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. 21, Daniel Sines, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. 22, Noah Cantu, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. 24, Evan Jenkins, offensive line, defensive line, freshman. 50, Aaron Morales, offensive line, linebacker, junior. 51, Jonathan Salinas, offensive line, defensive line, senior. 52, Raymond Cortez, offensive line, defensive line, junior. 53, Bailey Lovelady, Offensive line, defensive line, senior. 54, Allen Rodriguez. Offensive line, defensive line, senior. 55, Peyton Hart. Offensive line, defensive line, senior. 60, Evan Jenkins. Offensive line, defensive line, freshman. 64, Ivan Mora. Offensive line, defensive line, senior. 66, Ethan Whitworth. Offensive line, defensive line, junior. 66, Osmart Rodriguez, offensive line, defensive line, junior. 72, Jake Villanueva, offensive line, defensive line, sophomore. 74, Aiden Mendoza, offensive line, defensive line, junior. 78, Camilio Espinoza, offensive line, defensive line, senior. 81, Ramsey Martinez, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. Your head coach is Jason Richards. Associate head football coach is Aaron Simon. Offensive coordinator, Chris Mosier. Defensive coordinator, Daryl Davis. Special teams coordinators are Stephen Butler, Jackson Lee, AJ Villanueva, Justin Reyna. Assistant coaches are Austin Ross, Brant Davis, Gentry Doolittle, Adrian Bustillos, Athletic trainer is Stephen Seymour. Superintendent is Dr. R. L. Richards. And high school principal is Cindy Basir. Here's your Bushland Falcon lineup. As is, it's number one, Zach Zundell. Two, Jackson Fesch. Three, A.J. Marquez. Four, Tanner Adams. Five, Colton Reynolds. Six, Jake Hammer. Seven, Max Rodriguez. Eight, Austin Ryder. 9, Tag Thrash. 10, Dawson Jacko. 11, Stratton Molly. 12, Cade Gavina. 14, Hayden Burscum. 17, Ty Purcell. 19, Slade Perry. 20, Trip Purcell. 21, Elliot Hempfill. 22, Eden Hall. 24, Breakin Hall. 25, Kaysen Coing. 28, Quad Ferris. 31, Isidro Carroll. 33, Kel Culkin. 34, Cameron Davis. 35, Colton Strickland. 42, Mason Melban. 44, Easton Fuentes. 45, Ty Targone. 50, Isaiah Rodriguez. 51, Ty Morris. 52, Jace Fisk. 55, Rhett Rill, 57, Ty Askin, 58, Holton Humphrey, 70, Tyler Davis, 62, Kenan Melban, 
63, Russell Castro. 64, Cooper Lehman. 65, Tommy Tabor. 68, Jake White. 72, Cole Warren. 73, Jayton Fesch. 75, Charlie Pitt. 76, Brock Fisk. 78, Jackson Lawyer. 80, Bryson Jimenez. 81, Jenner King. 84, Brecht Dawson. 88, Boaz Wright. Head football coach is Josh Reynolds. And the superintendent is Chris Wigington. Milshu looks to say perfect tonight to open up district play. Everyone down on the field wearing pink for the pink out game for cancer awareness. Milshu coming in, looking to stay red hot. They have done really good all three phases of the ball going in, being able to take care of business. But tonight's going to be a true test to this Milshu team of very, very strong up front team the Bushland Falcons are the linemen coming in very big up front it's been some of the issues that Milshu has had even in years past is you know Bushland coming in being able to control the trenches control um, everything in between say so recognize the Breast cancer awareness survivors and then also the breast cancer, including the ones currently undergoing treatment. So let's take a moment to remember those who have lost the fight, pray for those who are undergoing treatment, courage for the families and friends of those touched by this disease, and remember there is a meaning behind the pink activities and festivities. So we are going to have a moment of silence. If you'll please rise and remove your hats. We're going to have a moment of silence in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, followed by the national anthem, saying by Layla Fleming. Awesome national anthem that was. Great job of uh, whoever was singing that. That was amazing. Milshu's keys to winning tonight will really solely depend on the ability to control up front and honestly controlling the clock and having all three phases of the ball, you know, have the defense create some turnovers, try to force Bushland now their comfort zone Bushland doing a good job this season watching some of the previous games of Bushland being able to control the line of scrimmage and being able to do what they can 
Milshu coming in. Defense really red hot, doing a good job holding opponents. You know, held Abernathy to zero, Tulia to seven. Brownfield, kind of a weird game. Team came out, kind of punched Brownfield in the mouth in the first quarter and then turned around and Brownfield scored two unanswered touchdowns, went in, you win the halftime, only up by a little bit over a touchdown and turn around and came out and handled business after that so you hope to carry on what you had in the second half over it's gonna be ty purcell to kick it away for the falcons And we have District Play kicking off. That's 21 Daniel Zines in the back. He's going to let it go out of the back of the end zone. And the Milshu offense will come out. It'll be first and 10. And they will start out at their own 25-yard line. Keys for Nathan Martins in this one is, uh, man, take care of the ball. Come out. Take care of business. You know, trust your wide receivers. Wind is blowing right to left on your screen not very strong at all just a little breeze and it's more bottom to top than what it is right to left here we go first and 10 man in motion and that's going to be false start on Milshu and uh, it's not how you want to start off your first series And here we go. Let's try this again. First and 15 now for the Milshu. First play of this game. And Martins will drop back. Look. And that ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage. And intended for y'all here. Kazada. Make it second down and 15. Bushland stack in the box. Empty backfield for Milshu. Daniel signs. It's now to the right of Nathan Martins. Here we go. And that's going to be a deep ball to Kazada. And Kaz ball was almost intercepted, tapped up in the air. That was number seven, Max Rodriguez, almost in his hands. Ten receiver was Kazada. And that will bring up a third down and 15. And if you're Milshu, you want to control the game. It's Milshu only burning seven seconds so far in his first possession. Here you go, got tight trips formation. Third down and long. And Martin's going to roll out to his right. He's just going to take it himself. He goes upfield, gets a first down to the 40. Down the sideline to the other 40 into Bushland territory. Martins just rolled out to his right. It was set up. It was designed to dump it off down below to Sebastian Curvin, and that wasn't open. And Nathan Martins decided to take it himself, and that is something big. First and 10 for Milshu, now located at the 37 of Bushland. Here we go, fresh set of downs. Got five seconds, I gotta get the snap off, here we go. Passes to Sebastian Curvin over the middle, that's gonna be a gain of about five or six. It's gonna be second down and five for the Mills. And that's what you have to do, you gotta give what the defense is giving to you. Sebastian kind of sneaking across the middle, scoots up just a little bit so that way he's open. Nathan red 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 and then decide to dump it off as a good decision by Nathan Martins here we go and Nathan's in trouble he gets it out to Jose Sigala and that was almost in his hands and incomplete pass make it third down and about five for the meals And 
Martins was flushed out of the pocket. He had to quickly get that one away, and I'd expect a blitz from Bushland right here. No, they don't. They stay at home, and that ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage. No good. Fourth down. Sebastian Kervin, the intended receiver. If he caught it, Bushland was right there. Maybe would have been a yard shy. Fourth and five. Josue Sigala to the right of Martins. Three-man front by the Bushland Falcons. And if you're Milsh, you want to be able to seal your blocks right here. I'm about to get a playoff. Five seconds. Here you go. That's a quick pass. And no good. Turnover on downs. Mauricio Herrera, the intended receiver, and Milshu's drive will come to an end. 11.08 left in this first quarter and only a little bit under a minute burnt by the Milshu offense. Here we go, first and 10. Ty sending a man in motion, handoff, and it's gonna be met and tackled. That was Slade Perry on the carry. And here comes the hurry up offense. Purcell, handoff to number seven. He goes up the sideline, that's Rodriguez. He's gonna be tackled. No first down, only a gain of a few. Makes it third and about Three. And this is where the Mill Street defense needs to not let anything behind them. Watch the play action. Here we go. Little pitch out to the corner, and that's number four who gets on the edge, and there's going to be a flag coming back, and that should be going back. That's going to be a blindside block. It's going to be Adams, who got up the sideline. Nope, they're going to call holding on the Bushland Falcons. So if you're Bushland, that's not what you wanted because third and manageable is now third outside the sticks. Be about third and 13. There you go, coach giving them signals. Got 10 seconds left on the play clock, and Dawson Jacko, quarterback. Jacko dropping back, looking, gets over the middle, caught. That's going to be maybe enough for the first down. That was number four, Tanner Adams, who was wide open at the bottom of your screen. Fresh set of downs makes it first and 10 for the Falcons. Jacko looking. And that is complete to number 12. He's going to get up the sideline and he has speed. He's going to be gone. Touchdown to Bushland. It's a 55 yard touchdown. 10 11 left in the first quarter and Bushland strikes first, 6 to 0. Isidro Carroll to attempt the extra point. And snap is good. Kick is up and it is through the uprights. That makes the score 0 to 7, 10 11. Almost a full minute. Burnt off the clock by Bushland. And uh, now Milshi has to come out and answer. Milshi's offense getting upfield, and Bushland came out really fast. Just gave what the Milshi defense was giving to them. A little screen, good blocking on the outside, and it spread Milshi out. The receivers for Bushland are spread out as far as they can out on the edges and 
that leaves a lot of space open in between the your tackle and the wide receivers. Makes it a little bit easier for the quarterback to be able to read what's going on on the defense. Kicking it away is going to be Ty Purcell. Back to receive is going to be 21, Daniel Signs. Kicks going to be up and away, and that's going to go out of the back of the end zone. Oh, Milshu's offense. Keys to this one. Burn some time off the clock. Get down and definitely have to answer the Bushland touchdown. I think if you're Milshu, I think you come out and have to fight back, punch back. Punch Bushland right in the mouth. Like what they just did. Nathan Martins at quarterback. Four wide receivers set. First and 10 at the 25. And Martins is in trouble. He's going to have to get rid of it. And he's just going to throw it away. And that's going to make it second down and 10. Only 10.05 left in the first quarter. Milshu trails 0 to 7. 55 yard touchdown by Cade Gavin. Second down. Handoff is going to go Daniel Sines. He's going to get to the outside. Make one man miss. He's going to maybe get a yard. On that play, they're going to give him two. They'll make it third down and eight for Milshu. Third down and eight. Bushland showing blitz, and they only send four. Here we go. Nathan Martin's going up the middle, and he's going to scramble around and force his way forward. That's going to be good enough for a first down and keeps the drive alive. Fresh set of downs, first and 10. Nathan Martin's up the field, and I think that's what you're going to have to do. You know, the pocket collapses, and you're going to have to do something. Your wide receivers are covered. First and 10, Bushlin stacking the box just a little bit. Trips at the top of your screen. 10 seconds left on the play clock. Sends Kazada in motion, and that's going to be a keeper by Nathan Martins, and he's going to cut up the left side, and it's going to have about an eight-yard gain. So Martins run. Good enough for eight. Makes it second down and two for the Milshu Mills. And that's what you want to do. Clock stopped at 850 if you're just now joining us. It's zero to seven. Second possession for Milshu. Bushland leads in this one so far. Nathan Martins and company looking off to the side. Daniel signs to the right of Martins. You know, high snap. Martins looking, and he's going to go deep. That's going to be tipped away. That was number four, Tanner Adams, with the big defensive move for the Falcons. Makes it third down and two. 8.42 left in the first quarter. Wind now changing direction. This is now directly blowing right to left if you're Milshu you gotta get something here Bushland sack in the box they're gonna send everybody they got I think yep here it comes and Nathan Martins will get a first down and he's gonna carry he's gonna get down to the 45 of Bushland fresh set of downs keeps the drive alive Nathan Martins doing it with his feet and at some point this is gonna Press the defense forward, and it's going to open up the middle of the field. Sebastian Curvin's a really big target. 
Here we go. First and 10 at the Bushland 47. Kazada in motion, and that's going to go out to Kazada and in and out of his hands. It's going to be Zach Zundel there for the tackle. Ball falls incomplete. Second down and 10. 8.15 left in the first quarter. If you're just now joining us, 0 to 7. This is Milshu's second possession. Bushland leads in this one so far. Daniel signs to the left of Nathan Martin, sends Sebastian Kervin in motion. Here we go. And that ball's tipped up in the air, and it is caught by Milshu. And that's going to be a big loss back into Milshu territory. That was Nathan getting his pass bat up in the air and then catching it himself. Third down and very long. Ball is at the Milshu 47. The first down marker is at the 37 of Bushland. It's going to be about 16 yards out. Here we go. Nathan Martin's in trouble, and he's going to be sacked in the backfield. That's going to be a loss of one, and here comes the punt team. So far, the line of scrimmage is what Bushland is controlling, and if you're Milshu, that's something else that's, that you got to take care of in this one if you're wanting a chance to get back in it. Tanner Adams back to receive the punt. Punting it away is going to be Nathan Martins. It'll be fourth and 18. Clock will continue to run 645. And here comes the punt. It's going to be end over end. And that's going to take a Milshu bounce. Lands at the 30 and will end up at the 25. Bushland's offense came out and couldn't run it against the Milshu front, but were able to pass it, and it was a 55-yard touchdown by Cade Gavin. Off of a little screen pass. If you're just now joining us, 636, Bushland will take over after that punt 0-7. Bushland leads in this one in the first quarter. Is going to get it out to Slade. And Slade's going to take it up the right side. And he's going to finally be hit. But I'll be a big gain on the play. Stays in bounds. Clock will continue to run. Jacko quarterback. And he's going to roll out to his right, and he's going to have to get rid of it. And will, and that goes in and out of the hands. His intended receiver, number seven, Max Rodriguez, makes it third down and six. Clock will stop at 6.09 in the first quarter. Milshu's defense looking to get a stop in this one. What you want to do is you want to force a fourth down and maybe five or more to kind of see if Bush will punt it here we go and that's going to be a quick screen out to number 19 and he's going to be tackled he will not have enough for the sticks and he will be a, about a yard or two shy So bring up fourth down and about one, and it's going to be a quarterback keeper, and he's going to have enough for the first down. About two yards is just enough for Dawson Jacko, and that gives Bushland a fresh set of downs. First and ten, Bushland. They will now be located at the 37-yard line. Here we go. Handoff up the middle. Gain of a few. It's going to be Perry on the carry. And here comes the big back. It's going to be Easton Fuentes. And empty backfield. Jacko looking. And he has a man open deep 
to the house. Daniel Sines, can he catch him? No. Touchdown, Bushland. That's Tanner Adams just a fade route straight to the back, and he went past every mill shoot defender. Makes the score 13 to 0. Bushland, 504 left in the first. Isidro Caro to attempt the extra point. And kick is going to be up and through the uprights. Makes the score 14 to 0. 504 left in the first quarter. Now, if you're Mill Shoes offense, you really have to answer. You got to not only try to burn some time off the clock, but go down and answer, stop the bleeding in this game so far, and see if you can respond to the Bushland touchdown. Back to receive for Mill Shoes is going to be Daniel Sines. And then kicking it away is going to be Ty Purcell. Milshu's offense able to really get downfield, and and they've been in Bushland territory twice, but have not been able to get past the thirty. Bushland and uh, two touchdowns. It's two chunk plays on. I mean, he had a third down and a fourth down, had him held up, and just a two yard run gave him a fresh set of downs and turn around and let a man get behind you. And Dawson Jacko, the senior, really big arm, getting it downfield is a perfect pass out to Tanner Adams for. The second touchdown. The first touchdown came from a little wide receiver screen. And that was at the top of your screen. That went out to number 12, Cade Gavin. Here we go. Fresh set of downs for the Milshu Mills. First and 10. They trail this one 0 to 14. 504 in the first quarter. Just now joining us. Here we go. Martin's looking. He's in trouble, and he's going to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, and he will. Barely. And he had maybe a second to make a decision, and no good there. Makes it second down and 10. Clock will continue to run under five minutes in this first quarter. Daniel signs to the right of Martins. Three wide, three wide receivers at the bottom of your screen. Here we go. Nathan, nowhere to go, and he's going to scramble around, and he's in trouble, and he's going to be sacked again. Make it third down and 10. Getting back to the line of scrimmage. Clock will continue to run four minutes and counting down in the first quarter. Milshi does trail 0 to 14. They're looking to stop the bleeding, trying to get on the board. Also, try to burn as much time as they can. And this will be a pass situation. You're going to have to get it off quick. Here we go. And that ball is going to be out to Sebastian Kerbin. That's caught down to the 50 into Bushland territory. Fresh set of downs, Milshu. And that's what you needed right there. Get comfortable in the pocket. Stand firm. Don't scramble around. And Nathan Martins delivers. Next day air is what I call it. Down in Sebastian Kervin. Takes Milshu into Bushland territory. This will be their third time. Two backs. 21. Daniel signs to the left. And seven Sebastian Kervin to the right of Martins. First and 10, handoff signs. He's going to be hit in the backfield. 
Nowhere to go. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Milshu trails zero to 14. And it's going to be a injured player on the field. Sebastian Kerbin able to get up on his own. Milshu 6 and 0 coming in this one. Bushland 5 and 1. Bushland's one loss is to a really, really good Canadian team. 55 to 35 is what they lost in that one. Bushland coming in to Milshu's house looking for a 1 and 0 district star. But Milshu looking to stay undefeated and also for a 1 and 0 district start. And not the start. The Milshu Mills won at 2.30. 10 seconds left on the play clock. You got to get this one off right here. Five seconds. Just in time. Hand off to Daniel Sines, and he's going to get nowhere. It's going to be a big loss on the play. We'll make it third down and 13 for the Mills. Sebastian Curvin currently out and that definitely hurts you right there in the wide receiver he's a big tall target Martins drops back he's looking flushed out of the pocket gets away from one defender and he's going to be sacked right at about the 49 yard line that's going to bring up a fourth down It's going to be fourth and very long for Milshu, about fourth and 16. Fourth down, Milshu's offense is still out on the field. Clock counting down, 15 seconds left on the play clock, 114 on the game clock. I think Coach is going to call a timeout here in the second. That's what he wanted to do is burn as much time as he can off the clock. And I don't know if the Milshu punt team is going to come out or if the offense will stay on the field. I think you definitely have to try to score on this next series. Or do you punt it away, hold Bushland to a no score, turn around and get a score. But just know that Bushland does have a kicker. And the Cedro Carroll watching him pregame, kicking it from about the 40 or 45 and making it through the goalposts. And he does have a leg on him. Milshu's keys to this one. And he got control the line of scrimmage. And that, that has been the story in this one so far is Nathan Martin's unable to get the ball out. He's scrambled around himself, but there's been times where You've had wide receivers open, got to plant and get it to your wide receiver. Here we go. First and 10, 102 left in the, I'm sorry, fourth down and 17, 102 left, 0 to 14. Milstreet trails in this one. Milstreet's just going to punt away, and that's a false start. Back to receive the punt's going to be Ty Purcell. Wind is calm now, and that's going to be a fake. And Nathan Martins is going to have to get rid of it. And he's going to be brought down into deep in Milshu territory. Nowhere to go in that one, I think. At that point, you throw it away. Now the Milshu defense coming out on the field in a red-hot Bushland Falcon offense. 52 seconds left in the first quarter. Milshu trails 0 to 14. There's a turnover on downs, and Milshu will hand the ball over to the Falcons, first and 10 at the Milshu 33. Milshu 
Dawson Jacko at quarterback handoff. It's going to be a flea flick flicker and nowhere to go on that one. And it's going to be caught. Number 19 will get a hold of it. Nowhere to go. And he was wide open. That's going to be Slade Perry on the reception. That's a fresh set of downs for the Bushland Falcons. Cock will continue to run first and 10. Handoff Perry, and he was hit in the backfield. He's finally going to be brought down, hit hard. It's going to be a gain of about seven or eight. Be second down and two. Bushland now going fast. Jack Ho, handoff, Perry, up the right side. Good blocks is finally brought down. It's Ramsey Martinez on the tackle, 51. Jonathan Salinas there for the cleanup. Makes it first and goal inside the 10, located at the 6 for the Falcons. And that'll be the end of the first half. 0-14. You're scoring this one. Bushland leads, and they are knocking on the door. End of the first quarter. Bushland's first touchdown. Coming early, first possession they had, and it was a 55-yard touchdown. It was a screen pass from Dawson Jacko out to number 12, K. Gavin. And then it was a deep pass from Dawson Jacko. That one went out to Tanner Adams. Just makes the score 0 to 14 at the end of the first quarter. Milshew able to get in the Bushland territory all three drives and sputters out at about the 35. First series a penalty driving Milshew back outside the sticks. Next drive, a big sack put Milshew outside the sticks. And a fourth down outside the six, Milshew ran a fake punt, and it was a turnover on downs. Gave Bush and the ball about the 37. Here we go. It's going to be first and goal at the six for the Falcons. Jack Ho. Handoffs will go out to number one, and he's going to be hit. Cross the five, though. Zach Sundell on the carry. Milshu did receive the ball to start off this game, and uh, we'll kick it away to the Falcons. Bushland looking to score at some insurance. So they're up 14 right now. 44 Easton Fuentes in and he's going to carry himself and he's going to be stonewalled third down and goal it's going to be a loss of a yard ball located at the four Milshi on the inside strong but you got to watch the pitch and run 44 Easton Fuentes is a big running back. Man in motion. Here we go. And Jacko's going to take it himself. Touchdown. Four yards. Dawson Jaco. Makes the score 20 to 0. 10 50 left in the second quarter. In favor of the Bushland Falcons. go kick is up and it is through the uprights 21-0 as Cedro Carroll's kick is good looking back at the play it's a good design by Bushland saying a man in motion and it gave a chance for the offensive line to push everyone where they needed to brought a little bit of an open space sending Number 44, it was Easton Fuentes. On just a little bubble route. As if it was going to be a screen. Drew Milshu spreading open the middle. And 
giving Dawson Jacko freedom for that four yard touchdown. Daniel signs to receive the kickoff. Kicking it away is going to be Ty Purcell. Kick is going to be short and away, and it's going to be you hear Kazada who takes him. Milshu will start off at the 32 yard line. First and 10, wind is picking up now, probably blowing a good 25 miles an hour right now. Dust now blowing in, wind is blowing directly right to left, and this may play in favor for Nathan Martins. First and ten. Go hand off. Go go. Daniel Signs. Daniel Signs escapes. That's a big run. Daniel Signs will turn on the Jets. Can he go all the way? No flags. Touchdown, Milshu. Daniel Signs. 68 yards to the house. That's how you get momentum back and bring life to this Milshoe team. 621, 1037 left in the second quarter. Milshoe still trails. But a spark may be igniting. Kick is going to be blocked. And finally whistles blow. No good. 21 to 6, 10:37 left in the second quarter. What a run by Daniel Signs and boy oh boy he did turn on the Jets. And I tell you what, Milshu needed that. Very, very much so. Brings it within a two procession game. 10.37 left in the second quarter. If you're just now joining us, big run by Daniel Sines gives Milshu life. First score of the game for the Mills, 6-21. to 21. Dangerous backfield for the Bushland Falcons, and you don't want to kick it into the hands. Back is number four, Tanner Adams, to receive the kick, kicking it away. I will get a number seven, Daniel Signs. I'm not Daniel Signs, I'm sorry, Sebastian Curvin. And this wind is blowing strong right now. And here we go. You will have to have somebody hold that ball as Sebastian Kerwin will try to kick it away. Let's see if the ball will stay on the stand this time. Like Milshu might try to onside this. Oh, they want, they're going to squib it away, and that's going to go into the hands of Tanner Adams, and he's dangerous. You're going to have to get him down. He's going to find a little bit of open space, and big hit! Right at the 30. No other than 22, Noah Cantu on the tackle. First and 10 for the Mills. 
Here we go. Pass is going to go out. That's going to be open for number 11. He's going to get up first and 10. Fresh set of downs, and he should be brought down inbounds. That's Molly on the carry. Here we go. Fresh set of downs. Handoffs going to go to Perry, and Perry's going to slip away from a couple mils, spin around, and just shy of the first down stick. It's going to be second down and two. Here we go. Ty Purcell out to Tanner. Tanner's going to take it. First down, the Bushland forced out of bounds. And, uh, and that, that's what Bushland's doing. They are not letting Milshu's defense get set tonight. We go first and 10. Handoff. Perry. Perry hit in the back. No, it is a carry. And finally brought down. What a great read by Dawson Jaco. Wow, quarterback read, and he kept it, and that is a fresh set of downs for the Bushland Falcons. But boy, oh boy, Milshu was there. If it was going to be handed off to the running back, Slade Perry, but Jack Coe kept it himself, and oh my gosh, he took off. Fresh set of downs, first and 10 for Bushland. Hand off. Perry gets up the right side and it's going to be finally tackled not before he gets a first down as a big gain as a gain of 11 on the play brings up another set of fresh yards 855 and counting down left in the second quarter here we go Dawson Jacko up the middle finally brought down Carry's going to be good for seven yards. We'll make it second down and three. Two backs in the backfield for the Bush of Falcons. Handoff Perry. He's going to be hit in the backfield, but he's going to drive forward. That's going to be good enough for the first down. Inside the five, first and goal. Ball will be located at the four. Oh, they're going to say he's a yard shy. It brings up a third down in inches. Here we go. Jaco rolling out to his right. Has all day to throw. He's going to have to get rid of it. That ball's going to be almost intercepted. That was going to be gone to the house if that was picked off. Fourth down in inches. And Bushland. bringing out a goal line package and maybe pistol formation and it is here we go big up front they brought out every lineman they had here we go handoff did he not get it they're gonna say he's short that's gonna be a turnover on downs Milshu's ball Stand inside the five. Bending and not breaking is what this Milshu defense just did. First and ten. Milshu will have to go on a long drive. But what a momentum shifter in this one so far. Six to twenty-one. Milshu trails. Seven fifty-six left in the second quarter. Nathan Martins and company out on the field. Daniel signs to the left of him. And uh, imagine that the Bush and Falcons will bring out everyone that they can. It's going to be a handoff to Signs. Signs is going to break free. Signs is up to the 20. First down. This is a packed house tonight on both sides. You have standing room on the left and right side of the stands, and people are cheering on this Milshu team right now. 
First and ten, Nathan Martins rolling out, in trouble, gets away. He's just going to take it himself to the 25, 30, out of bounds, and a flag comes in. Wow. And I did not see anything bad on that play. And it's going to be a blind side block. Oh, on Bushland. That's going to be a fresh set of downs for Milshu. And that's going to take the ball past the 40 at the 41. Oh, man. I sat there. That was in the backfield of where Milshu was. And I thought they were going to call a holding call. And I think it's a little bit further up I thought it was a 15 yard penalty so it should be located at the 46 and they're going to locate it at the 48 no they're going to <laughs> now take it back to where it needs to be first and 10 mil shoot at the 47 you can feel the momentum shifting in this one especially in the stands here we go man in motion Herrera Nathan Martin dropping back. Sebastian Carvin. He was held. Oh, no. Incomplete pass. Intended receiver Sebastian Carvin. And Coach Richards going to get off the field before he gets a flag. And he was very upset with that one. Sebastian Carvin was holding hands with the Bushland defensive back. Brings up a second down and 10. Here we go. Nathan slipping. Nathan doing something. There he goes. Getting to the outside edge. Past the 50. 45 out of bounds. First down, Milshu. Clock stopped at 7.01. Milshu trails 21 to 6. Fresh set of downs. Oh, man. Nathan, Nathan Martins had nowhere to go, and he turned nothing into something. Josue Sigala rolling out. Design quarterback run. Nathan Martins going to get sacked in the backfield. Oh, my goodness. They'll make it second down and 13. Clock running, 640 left in the second quarter. If you're Milshu, you, you got to score before halftime. Bushland will receive the ball to start the second half of play. If you're just now joining us, it's 6 to 21 in the second quarter. Milshu on the drive after a goal line stand, starting out at the 5 and now located at the 45 of Bushland. Five seconds left on the play clock. Man in motion. Here we go. Pass out. Kazada catches it. 40, 35, knocked out of bounds. Third down and about three. And boy, oh boy, it feels like a very long three. Clock stopped at 6-12. Fans are on their feet cheering the Milshoe Mills. Here we go, third down, Nathan Martins, and timeout, Bushland. Woo, boy. Fans on their feet, cheering on the Milshu Mills. The momentum has shifted in this one. 21-0 was the score, and uh, it almost felt like all hope was lost for Milshu, and the offense came out. It was a big 68-yard run by Daniel Signs to ignite this offense and team. 6-21 to 21 was the score then. Then Bushland taking it all the way down to the 5. Fourth down inches. Guess what? The Milshu defense was right there to Stonewall. 
And now Milshu has driven it down from the five. Now located at the Bushland 35. Look at the score before halftime. Three touchdowns. And honestly, it was three big chunk or two big chunk plays by the Bushland Falcons and one good drive by the Bushland Falcons. A four yard run was the last touchdown by Dawson Jacko for the Falcons. A tight trips. Josue Sigala in the back. And oh boy. Bushland is stacked on the defensive side. And here we go. Offsides. First down. Mauricio Herrera. And I was six to say they were lined up way offsides. Bushland brought an extra big boy in and they stacked inside the box and his helmet looked way past where the ball was way into the neutral zone fresh set downs first and 10 ball located at the 30 yard line nathan martins and company out on the field and pressing is the bushland defense one safety in the back everybody is within four yards of the football I think you chunk it deep to one of your speedsters on the outside here. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Sebastian Kervin, ball is intercepted. Oh, no. Down the sideline. One man to beat. He's going to take this back to the house. That's number 17, Ty Purcell, who's going to go. Not all the way. Brought down. That's Josue Sigala on the touchdown saving tackle. First and goal for the Bushland Falcons. Oh no. Now the Mill Street defense will come out and uh you've been here before and I think you got to find the fire and and overcome the adversity on what just happened. They have four plays to score, and Milshu's defense needs to stop them all four times. Here we go. First and 10. Jacko is going to hand it off to number 44. He's going to be hit, and they're going to give him the touchdown. Won't even blow the play dead. Ethan Fuentes in for the touchdown. Wow. What a roller coaster of emotion that is going on in this stadium right now. 27 6, 542 in the second quarter. Bushland scores. Kick is up and good. Man, oh man. And that ball was honestly. It was perfectly thrown. Probably could have been thrown maybe half a second earlier going and looking back at the play again. And that was a big play by Milshu to try to go down and get the score. And the ball was just slightly there, just a little too late. And the little touchdown run by 44, Ethan Fuentes. Makes the score 28-6 with 542 left in the second quarter. And it's almost like you could feel it just the uh, air def deflating out of a tire right now in the stadium. And Milshu has to go down and score. You got to find a way to overcome that adversity. And that's football. It's a game of roller coaster and how mentally tough you can be. This game is in reach for Milshu. That's going to be Daniel Sines who's going to pick it up, bobbles it, and he's going to get up 
Back to the 25. They're going to locate him at the 26. Wow. 5.36 left in the second quarter. Milshu, new possession. And if you're Milshu, you can't be down on yourself. You have driven it down the field several times, have been able to show that you can drive it, but got to be able to finish out your drives. Every drive so far, Milshu has been able to get down to the 30 of Bushland and somehow end up right there. And this is where you need to overcome it. First and 10, Nathan Martins, Daniel signs to his left. Martins looking, passes out to number one, Kazada. And Kazada is going to stay inbounds and now forced out of bounds at about the 35. It's going to be a yard shy of the first down. Second down and one for the Mills. Wind is blowing very strong right now. Trash blowing across the, the press box. And the uh, American flag looking out is blowing right to left. And it is almost still how straight it is. Here you go. Catch Mauricio Herrera. First down, Milshew. Clock will stop at 525 as he is forced out of bounds. Here we go. The fans are on their feet. They're excited. Let's go, Milshu. Are the chance coming out of the stands? Fresh set of downs for the Mills. 15 seconds to get the playoff. Martins handoff to Signs. Signs sees a hole on the outside. Gets up the right side. Gain of about six. Make it second down and four for the Milshu Mills. <clears throat> Clock counting down. Five minutes left in the second quarter. Bushland to receive the second half kickoff. Milshu looking to keep this within a couple of possessions. Here we go. Pass out. Kazada go up to the 50 and that's going to get called back I'm going to say holding on this one so now then negate the first down Holding against the Mills will make it a repeat second down. They'll make it second down and eight. 441, Mills Street trails 28-6 in this one. Here we go, Bushland showing blitz. They are stacking the box, pressing forward. Everyone within about four yards. Mills Street sends a man in motion. Handoff, signs going up, driving his feet forward. And that's going to be a gain of a couple Make it third down and about five. Third down and five for Milshin. They've been here before, but I think this is four down territory at this point. You got to go down and score to keep up with this Bushland team. Here we go. Martin's looking. It's going out. That's caught. That's going to be Sebastian Curvin. Flag is in the way back in the secondary. And I think that's going to be a holding on the defense of the Falcons. Fresh set downs. Milshu now at the 45 of Bushland. 401 left in the second quarter. Milshu trails 20 to 6 if you're just now joining us. Pack stands tonight and can't really see it, but you have fans lined up on the fence line right and left of the home stands here to cheer on their Milshu meals on this first game of district play. Martin's pass complete. Kazada. 
boy, boy, Nathan Martin stood there, saw the Bushland Falcon coming to him, was able to get the pass out to Yahir Kazada, and that's standing your ground, getting a good pass off, and it makes it second down and about three, a very long three for the Mules. Here you go, and uh, whistles blow, and let's see who calls a timeout. Boston is going to take a timeout. 3.30 left in the second quarter. Mill Street trails 28-6. to six. If you're just now joining us, a roller coaster of emotions in the second quarter. Mill Street is down 21-0. Big run by Daniel Sines makes it 21-6. Mill Street gets a goal line stand, drives it down the field, and throws a big interception. Tanner Adams of Bushland takes it all the way back to about where Bushland was again. And they go down and score. Makes it 28-6. Milshoe, though, they, they've kind of put that away and are focused on this drive. This team resilient so far in this one, showing that they can overcome adversity. Just got to finish out the drives. Just about every drive Milshu has had, they've ended up at about the 30, in between the 30 and 40, even down to the 25. But were unable to get in. The one drive they scored was the Daniel Sines run. It was a 68 yard to the house run for him. And the key to Milshu for this one is to control the line of scrimmage and you feel like it's kind of even right now. Here we go. Oh, pass over the middle. It's to Sebastian Kervin threading the needle with Nathan Martins on that pass. And Sebastian drives his feet past the 25. First and 10 at the 22-yard line is where Milshu will now be located. Milshu needs to get over the hump right here. They need to score on this drive so that they could score inside the 20 here we go passes out that's going to be Herrera Herrera 10 5 down at the six yard line 305 left in the second quarter clock will run at the blow of the whistle first and goal at the six yard line Bushland stack in the box man in motion is curving Martins handoff signs outside edge he's aiming for the pylon and he's gonna gain a few oh man if you are daniel signs you run to that pylon you cut up just a little early would have gone maybe one or two more yards there if not a touchdown second down and goal ball now at the four two thirty left in the second quarter milshu knocking on the door trying to bring it within two possessions here we go. Martins, handoff, signs again. Signs is going to take it. On the edge, touchdown, Milshew. 2.14 left in the second quarter. Makes the score 12 to 28. And I think they're going to try to go for two right here. Here we go. Two-point attempt. Martin's in trouble. He needs to get rid of it. He's going to be sacked in the backfield. Boy, oh, boy, Bushland sent the house. Keeps the score 28-12. to 2.14 left in the second quarter. And you kind of take the momentum back in this one. You feel like it's a sigh of relief if you're Milshu. But now the defense needs to go out, handle business. And if Milshu's defense can get a stop, that's going to be big on this one. I think the key to this one is you got to keep Dawson Jaco in check, turn around and make sure that nobody gets behind you. Make Bushland try to rely on the run in this one so far. And Bushland hasn't been able to really run it up the middle or really at all. It's been the passing game for Bushland. Milshu's front controlling, but the 
secondary allowing big chunk plays to happen to give Bushland these first downs. And right here, you definitely want to try to pin Bushland deep. The speedy Tanner Adams for Bushland back to receive the kick. Kicking it away is going to be number three, Mauricio Herrera. Got five seconds to try to kick it away. And the kick's going to be up and away, and that's going to be short. That's going to go into the hands of a Bishop Falcon at about the 19. Speaking of 19, that was Slade Perry receiving the kick. Man, oh, man. And uh, now you gave Bushland the short field. Bushland only one timeout left in this first half of football. 28-12 is our score. Second quarter, 209 if you're just now joining us. Milshu going down and scoring, showing them that, that they can get it done. Now the defense needs to show up. Here we go. First down and 10. Dawson looking out. Little screen, and he's going to be wide open. That's going to be Tanner Adams to the house. He goes as a big response touchdown. Well designed, well drawn up play by the Bushland Falcons. That takes a score. Millstew 12. Bushland 34. 159 left in the second quarter. And if you're Millshu, now you're going to have to turn around and try to go score again. Cedro Carroll to attempt the PAT. And kick is going to be up and through the upright. 35 12, 159 left in the second quarter. To the house. That was Tanner Adams, number four. That's his second touchdown of the night. Good drawn up play, watching it again right here. And uh, Tanner Adams went about 10 yards, quickly cut back, turned around, and the ball was thrown in no man's land. And then he just appeared out of nowhere, caught, and took it to the house. All the momentum in the world Tanner Adams had. Well drawn up, well designed play. If you're Daniel Signs, you want to try to get Milshu a good starting point. Wind is blowing in the face of the Bushland Falcons. And ball will fall off the sand. Shows how strong the wind is blowing here tonight right now. 159 left in the second quarter if you're just now joining us. 35-12, Milshu trails in this one. First district game of the year. And here we go. That ball is going to be kicked up in the air. And it's going to be fair caught. And it was a live ball. Milshu landed on it. They're going to say it's Bushland's ball. Bushland landed on it, and that is special teams. And I think they thought if they called fair catch it, where it landed, it did. But that is a live ball. And now Bushland looking to try to score before halftime, and they'll come out and get the ball again. Wow. Dawson Jaco, quarterback Jaco, ball's fumbled. I 
Oh, man, and Dawson Jacot just landed right back on top of it. And that makes it second down and very long for the Falcons. 140 left in the second quarter. Milstreet's defense needs to try to come up with a turnover right here, and they almost had one right there. Second down, long. And that's going to be out to number one. Little screen, Zach Zundell, the receiver. The bush is going to burn as much time as they can. Clock stopped at 121. Zundell going out of bounds. Three wide receivers at the bottom of your screen one at the top of your screen and a lone receiver at the top of your screen is the speedy Tanner Adams been targeted multiple times tonight two touchdowns for Adams and I think timeout Bushland Bushland will take their final timeout if you're just now joining us 121 left in the second quarter 35-12 is the score in this one the Bushland Falcons do lead Game is not out of reach to have two quarters left to play in this one. Milshu offense has shown that they can now go down and drive and score. Before that, it was a big run, 68 yard touchdown by Daniel Signs back at the start of the second quarter. Milshu's offense able to get down, and honestly, they were set up as first and 10. They were going to go down and score. And it was a interception. Tanner Adams intercepting the ball, taking it all the way down to the five-yard line. Jose Sigala on the touchdown, saving tackle, but very next play, it was Ethan Fuentes, 44, Bushland, taking it in. Bushland went down and scored. They kicked off, and it was a short little pooch kick wind picked it up and it looked like it was going to land at the 30 it ended up landing about the 35 and then it rolled and Bushland ended up landing on it here we go third down and long all day the throw and that ball's just outside the reach of number 19 Slade Perry make it fourth down and 11 clock stop at 115 and this benefits Milshu. Milshu still has all three timeouts if I remember right and you need to get lined up fast because Bushland's just going to come out fast on this one got 10 seconds to get a play off 5 seconds Jaco dropping back looking all day the throw goes deep and ball's going to be caught. Touchdown, Bushland. That's number one, Zach Zendel. 32-yard pass before the half. 106 left in the second quarter. Makes the score 12 to 41. Snap is good. Kick is up. And Carroll's kick is good through the uprights. And, man, oh, man, you had it fourth down. Bielshu needs to go down and score right here. You have a minute six to do it. And I know this Bielshu offense has the capability of doing it. They've been able to drive downfield all night. I think the keys to this one is you have three timeouts you got to try to get it down kick is gonna carry in the wind the other direction towards bushland so you gotta be ready for a short kick and i assume that's what bushland's gonna do again right here if 
plus the ball will stay on the tee. Wind kind of calming down now. Looking over at the American flag, kind of seeing which way it's blowing. Now it picks back up. I feel like this wind has gotten stronger over, <laughs> over time. And there it goes. There's, there's the ball. You're going to have to have someone hold it. The game isn't completely out of reach. If you can score, get a two-point conversion and make it 42-30, down by 22 points. And that ball is going to go up in the air, and you're going to have to take it and catch it. That was a fair catch. And I think they're looking for the flag. Yeah, and there's the flag. Ball lands at about the 39. And that flag came in kind of late, so I wonder if it's... And that is his unnecessary roughness on the Falcons. And if you're pushing, that's not what you wanted. You are holding this mill shoot team. There's 12 points so far in this one. And now mill shoot has the stage set up for them. First and 10 be located at the Bushland 46 yard line. 106 left in the second quarter and three timeouts is what mill shoot has. And they need to score right here Bushland to receive the second half kick here we go handoff Daniel signs escapes goes to the 40 to the 35 forced out of bounds and that will stop the clock at 57 seconds fresh set of downs First down for Milshin. You want to burn as much time as you can, but still try to get down there and score and really go for two. Here we go. Low snap. Handoff. Signs. Signs is going to skip around. Gain of about three. No. And the ball was supposedly slipped out. And timeout. Milshu. Daniel Signs. Uh, about a four-yard gain. First timeout from issues. Stops the clock at 50 seconds. And it's Bushland team. Really aggressive up front. But Milshu honestly able to run against the front. And Milshu being able to control the line of scrimmage on offense for the run. Looking back at this last play. Let's see. They're on a couple plays. Looking at the delayed couple plays behind on uh, the stream inside. I'm trying to see what happened on this last play. Didn't see the ball ever come out. I wonder if Daniel Sines maybe tried handing it off. Maybe it bounced right into the hands of another meal shoe meal. Oh, yeah, that's why it came out way after he was down. So second down and six is what Milshu will come out to after this timeout. And uh, you have a lot of time, honestly. You're located at the 31. Got to go 31 yards to get the score. It was a great setup for Milshu starting out in Bushland territory. Penalty from Bushland put Milshu to start right there. Here we go, Nathan Martins and company back out on the field. Second down and six. Martins handoff signs and he's going to be hit in the backfield. And another timeout keeps the clock at about 44 seconds. Now make it third down and seven for Milshu. Once again, Milshu coming in 6-0 and on this one. Bushland 5-1. and Bushland's one loss came to a ranked Canadian team. 55-35 is what they lost. Uh, handled business everywhere else, beating Canyon, West Plains, Childress, Borger, Dumas, and El Paso, Riverside. Max Prep 
had the Bush and Falcons at number six, Milshu at 22. Of course, that one is a computer ranking. They base it off of a bunch of different statistics and opponents and a lot of computer magic. Milshu coming in ranked number 10. The 3A Division I Dave Campbell Texas Football AP poll. And rightfully so, this Milshu team has been resilient all season, really pushing ahead. The defense has been really good. Here we go, third down and seven for your Mills. Nathan, looking, he's just going to take off with it. The quarterback spies there. That's going to be a fresh set of downs. Out of bounds. 38 seconds left in the second quarter. A fresh set of downs. Ball will be located at the... See, they're going to mark it at the 21. First and 10, fresh set of downs for the Mills Shoe Mills. Martins. Getting the snap off looking. It's going out. Mauricio Herrera. Did he catch that? No. No good. Pass is incomplete. Broken up. Clock will stay at 33 seconds. Oh, man. And I thought Mauricio Herrera came away with that one. That ball needed maybe one or two yards more. Here we go, second down and 10, ball to 21. If you're just now joining us, 42-12 is the score. Mills, you're trying to score before halftime. Bushland will get the second half kick. Here you go, Martin's looking in trouble. He's going to be sacked in the backfield. One timeout left, and I think Coach will take it. No, he's not. Coach isn't going to take it. 23 seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. And you need to get get the snap off right here. Here you go. Nathan Martins will take it himself. Two, one, and you have enough time for one more play. Fourth down. And 10 for the Mills Shoe Mills back at the 21 yard line. One second, draw it up, try to get something going. And Bushling. Lined up across the front. It looks like they may bring the house. Here we go. Martin's going to take it himself. There's going to be a flag. And tackled out of bounds. And that's going to be a holding. Penalty will be declined. And that's the end of the half. 42-12. Bushland to get the second half ball. And uh, stick around for the band, and uh, we'll be right back for your second half of Bushland versus Milshu. Kill M Advertising, MuleshoeTV.com. Coverage of the Muleshoe Mules football brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Shippen's Body Shop and Autoplex, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Muleshoe Independent School District, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, Mohawk Auto Parts, WTG Fuels, Edward Jones and Stephen DeMint, McDonald's Restaurant, Dell Oil Company, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, and Irrigation Pumps. 
and power. Of course, our live stream broadcast powered by internet provided by Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, thanks to them.
MLM Advertising, MuleshoeTV.com. Coverage of the Muleshoe Mules football brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Muleshoe Independent School District, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, Mohawk Auto Parts, WTG Fuels, Edward Jones and Stephen DeMint, McDonald's Restaurant, Dell Oil Company, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, and Irrigation Pumps and Power. Of course, our live stream broadcast powered by Internet provided by Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, thanks to them. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your second half of Bushland versus Milshew. Scores 42 to 12, and it seems out of reach, but it's not. 
Mission will receive the ball to start this second half of district play. This is opening night of district here in Milshoe, Texas. We're at David Woodfield nestled inside Benny Douglas Stadium. And I think the biggest thing on this one so far is uh, Milshoe controlled the line of scrimmage, which Milshoe... The running game not really struggling too much. They've been able to get downfield. It's been an interception and some just small, tiny errors that have led to the score. And honestly, the the score says forty-two to twelve, but this has been a tougher battle than what the score indicates. This Milshoe team being resilient and showing up and play after play, series after series. Milshu's been able to get the ball down inside the 30, right around the 25, sometimes around the 35 of Bushland, but unable to finish out drives. They are able to finish out a drive towards the end of the second quarter that gave them the touchdown to go to 12 points. Able to get down, stop Bushland, and drive all the way down to about the 20, 21. It was a fourth, well, no, it wasn't a fourth down. It was a first down, fresh set of downs from Milshoe. And an interception thrown just kind of took the breath on the Milshoe team. And that, that would have made it 20 to 21. And said, we are here. 42-12 as the kick will go to Tanner Adams. Tanner Adams is going to get around the edge. He has the blockers. He's going to get across the 45, across the 50. It's going to be finally be brought out of bounds. And that's going to be a flag. Bushman will start at the 45 of Milshu. We'll have a little bit of extra after that. Temperature dropping in this one. Wind is still blowing right to left on your screen. And it is cold. Everybody kind of bundled up. Jackets and it was funny. It was 75, almost 80 degrees at kickoff. And now with the wind and a little bit of a cold front coming through. Has dropped the temperature into the 50s. 55 in the field was about 53 here we go first and 10 and that's going to be a run that's going to be a touchdown and a hold and it will come back that was number seven max rodriguez with the carry and that will be coming back for a hold so first and 10 for the bushland falcons will now take him back to first and about 20 So if you're Milshoe, that's a really good sign. You push Bushland a little bit further back. Won't be first and 20. It'll be about a repeat first down and about 17. Be first and 18 is what is on the scoreboard. Here we go. And that was a rollout. And upfield will Perry go. Dawson Jacko rolling out to his right. And, man, he hit the ball well and had just about everyone fooled. Still not first down. Make it second down and short. About three for the Eagles. Jacko pitch out to number 12. He's going to catch the edge, get up the corner, and that is a touchdown. Bushland. 11-14 left. In the third quarter, 15-yard run. That was Cade Gavin. That was his second touchdown of the night. Tempting the extra points going to be a Cedro Carroll. Here we go. Kick is going to be up and through the uprights. Good. 49-12. And 
Bushling comes out swinging to start this second half and never say never it is a long ways to go for the mill shoot team to find a way back into this one and I believe they can I've seen this mill shoot team fight and claw back and honestly they've been fighting and clawing their way this whole game so far and just have not been able to finish they've been able to go toe for toe almost it's just finishing out the drive wind blowing into the face of the Bushland kicking team Ty Purcell to kick it away for the Falcons Kick is going to be high and up. That's going to go to Daniel Sines. He'll take it at about the 20. And to the 25 he goes. Just past there. And Milshu will start out at the 30. Two quarters ago, Milshu down. Several possessions, and uh, I'm a fan of comeback stories, so I'm trying to speak it into life right here. That feels she will come back in this one. Oh, it takes a little bit of a spark, and you'll get going. Nathan Martin's pass out and in and out of the hands of Yahir Kazada. There's a flag right about the center of the field, as in the area of holding. And that's ineligible receiver downfield on Milshu. And that will be a loss of down, so second down and ten for the Mills, Nathan Martins. To the left of him is Daniel Signs. About 15 seconds to get a playoff. Here we go. Nathan looking. Pass over the middle, and that is deflected. Y'all hear Kazada, the intended receiver. And the Falcons defense just sticking to these wide receivers like glue. They have been very stuck to these mill shoe wide receivers, not allowing anything. Sebastian Kervin able to break away on the few and try to look for some life right here third down and 10 Martin's dropping back looking to his left and that's Sebastian Kervin right on cue fresh set of downs I just need to call his name more often Bobby located at the Milshoe 45, a fresh set of downs for this Mules offense. I'll tell you what, you get a little drive going and puts a little pep in your step and gives Nathan Martins some confidence. 10.58 left in the third quarter. If you're just now joining us, Millshoot trails 49-12, but looking to get something going. Daniel signs, makes a man miss, trucks another one. First down, a little bit more. Gain of 12 in, on the play that gets Millshoot into Bushland territory located at the Bushland 43-yard line. That was a powerful run. Man, oh, man. Go first and ten in Bushland territories where Milshi is now. Handoff that's Josue Sigala out on the field, and he's going to be tackled in the backfield. I mean, a loss of a few on the play will make it second down and 12. Got 
Got the receivers stacked on top of each other for this second down and 12. Here we go. That's going to be Kazada, and he's going to be met immediately and forced out of bounds or kind of more dragged out of bounds, but continue to make the clock run. No game makes it third down and 12. Right here, you kind of want to land in between the sticks. Got Ramsey Martinez, and y'all hear Kazada, wide receivers, top of your screen. Sebastian Kervin is the tight end at the top of your screen. Mauricio Herrera at the bottom of your screen. Jose Sigala to the left of Nathan Martins. Here we go. Martins looking over the middle. Caught. Nate, that's Sebastian Kervin. Spins out of a tackle. Down to the 21. This team is not done yet. They are fighting to find a way to get back into this one. Offense goes down and we'll try to get a score right here. More like they will. Sebastian Kerbin to the left of Martins. Josue Sigala to the right. Here we go. Handoff. Josue takes it. Sigala catches the edge to the 20. And will be forced out of bounds at about the 19. That's going to be a gain of a few. And that's such a hard thing to turn up field. You just, the linebackers of Bushland doing a really good job. They're shifting, reading, moving over, not letting anything get out too far outside. Now Bushland's stacking the box. Here we go. They got about six or seven in the box. Safety is pushed forward. Look at Sebastian, the top of your screen in that slot position. Here we go. Handoff is Sigala, and that's going to come back for a holding. He's going to be in for a Milshu touchdown, but that will be called back for a holding. That was a good block on the right side of that line and just held it for one second. I wouldn't even say a second too long. It was just maybe half a second too long. Be a repeat second down and it'll push Milshu outside of the sticks. Second and 17 for the Mills. If you're just now joining us, 9.05 left in the third quarter. 49-12, Mule Shoe Trails, but a little bit of momentum for the Mules. Martin, slow snap, hands it off, gets it to Sigala. Sigala up the right side, slow, but trying to find a way to get back in between the sticks. And there's going to be a flag finally thrown. That's going to be a personal foul on Bushland, and that's going to be a fresh set of downs for Milshu. And here comes Daniel Signs in for Josue Sigala. It's going to be a first and goal at the nine for Milshu. Here you go. Hand off to Daniel Sines. And Daniel Sines is going to get to the outside edge. He's going to be in the backfield, and that's going to be a big tackle for loss. Bushland's defense just leaking in, but they are pressing up front. They're spraying their players across the line of scrimmage. Trying to force Nathan Martins to throw. And here we go. A little bit of change on the defensive side. Box is stacked. Pass. Sebastian Curran. Touchdown, Milshu. 12 yard pass, 8.15 left in the third quarter. We'll make your score 18 to 49. Milshu still trails. That was dialed up perfectly. Martin's back. Knew it was going to be right there. Passed it. 
great pass over the middle, and Milshu will try to go for two. Touchdown, Sebastian Curvin, 12 yards. You know, Martin slow pass. That pass is going to be deflected. Keeps the score 49 to 18. So Milshu down still. Try to dial up something. Got to be able to get the defense out here. You got plenty of time left in this third quarter. 8.15 left. And Milshu once again, just showing that they can get it downfield. But you got to find a way to get it out of the hands of the Bushland offense. And honestly, with the... Well, I was going to say with the wind at your back. And the wind is dead now there's no wind looking at the American flag it is barely moving and as I say that it kind of picks up again a little gust here and there wind will be blowing right to left and I was going to say you know pin Bushland deep try to kick it deep and Milshu's going to do that that's right into the hands of Tanner Adams and you're going to have to get him down quick and Tanner will get around the edge, and he's going to be forced out of bounds at about the 40. This is where you got to dig your feet down, not let anything get behind you. Make sure that you have your eyes on. Make sure you're reading your keys, eyes in the backfield. Make sure that. You can stop Bushland here, maybe make them punt it away, try to maybe get a tackle for loss right here, first and 10. It's going to be Jaco, and false start. And if you're the Falcons, that's not what you want. It's first and 10. Now you got to work for an extra 15 yards to try to get a first down. If you're Milshu's defense, you want to take full advantage of this right here. Dawson Jaco, quarterback to the right of him is Slade Perry. Here we go. Handoff. Perry. Perry's going to be tackled in the backfield. He may get back up to the line of scrimmage and they're going to blow it dead and they're going to give him for progress. Aiden Mendoza getting in the backfield. Along with the Heard of Mules to get the tackle. Wasn't a tackle for losses. Gain of one. Here we go. Second down. And that's going to be out to number 11. He's going to be hit hard. There for the tackle was Nehemiah Sanchez. Malloy was the receiver. Now you got three receivers at the top of your screen. I think we've seen this one before. If you're Mill Shoes defense, you want to make sure that you watch the screen. Tanner Adams up there along with Zach Zundell. Here you go, and there it is. All day to throw it, and that ball's going to be out deep, and that is a good pass breakup. Great coverage by the Mill Shoe defense and they get the force punt makes it fourth down and three seven minutes left in the third quarter this mill shoot team they are fighting their way back into this one host ways to got to get the punt And that ball's going to go out at about the 28-yard line. First and 10 for Milshu, and they will take over at the 28, their own 28. And uh, Milshu has had to put together a longer drive than this. So if you're Milshu, you want to go down, score, and definitely try to convert a two-point conversion. Three points missing on the special team side. First and ten. Martins. 
handoff, signs, signs, escapes, up, 40, breaks away, in the Bushland territory, down to the 38 yard line. I'll mark him at the 39. And I was saying this at halftime, the Milshoe offense has been able to get on the outside edge and run against this Bushland team. It's going to be a first and 10 for this Milshoe Mill offense. Pressed forward, everybody within five yards except for the free safety in the back. Here we go, Nathan looking. That's going to be in out of the hands of Sebastian Kervin and... Man, oh, man, he had somebody there waiting for him. Josue Sigala in for Daniel Signs. You know what we haven't heard? Josue Sigala to the house. We haven't heard that today. And he is scary in the open field. Sebastian Curvin now at the wing. Wide receiver stacked on top of each other at the top of your screen. Lone receiver at the bottom of your screen. Here you go, high snap, Josue Sigala. Josue gets out and he's going to maybe get a yard gain. So going to make it third down and 10. They're going to say no gain on the play. Six minutes left in the third quarter. Here we go, third down. This is a very big third down. You want to get a first down or at least as close as you can. Got about 10 seconds to get a play off, and there's going to be a flag. And that's not what you want. Third and 10 will now be third and 15. And I think everybody knows this is a passing situation. And you try to dial up something here. Ramsey Martinez, the lone wide receiver at the bottom of your screen. Two receivers up top. Curvin in the wing. Josue Sigala to the right of Martins. Martins looking. Martins in trouble. He needs to get rid of it. He is sacked. All the way back into Bushland territory. And I think you punt this one away. Makes it fourth and long for your meals. I wonder if you, I mean, it is open at the middle of the field. And you're just going to punt it away. That's going to go end over end into the hands of Tanner Adams. And Tanner Adams is just going to take it out of bounds. So now Bushland will come out. 434 left in the third quarter. Milshu trails. 49-18. Time is ticking. And I think Milshu's gonna have to come up with something here. Defense has not had a interception or fumble recovery so far in this one. So they are due. Here we go. Hand off up the middle. It's going to go to Perry. And Perry's going to be taken down. Sanchez on the tackle. Here we go. Looking out. That's the screen that we've seen all night. That's Tanner Adams forced out of bounds after he gets a first down. Here we go, Jaco looking, and that's another screen. That's going to go out to Gavin. Gavin's going to finally be tackled. It's Daniel Signs on the tackle. At some point, you're going to have to press these wide receivers on the edge. You're just going to keep running that screen and get 10 yards. 
We go handoff is going to be kept by Jaco. And Jaco is just going to take himself out of bounds. Stops the clock at 3.44 left in the third quarter. Here you go, Jaco looking, and that's going to be a screen out again. That's going to be number seven who gets on the edge. That's Martinez. He's finally going to be forced out of bounds. And there's going to be an injured player on the field. So there's an injury timeout. Kind of look at ahead of what's going on. Mills, she's six and zero. Perfect record is in blemish. It's in trouble tonight, being blemished. Bushland five and one, seeking, well, both teams seeking a district win to open up district play. And in all honesty, I think whoever wins this game is in the driver's seat for district two three A. And the wins matter. Depends who you play in the playoffs. And you definitely don't want to run into a Jim Ned in the second round or a Brock. And that would definitely be a not the best situation to end up in. If you're just now joining us, 336 left in the third quarter, 49-18. Next week is a bye week for the Mills. And then they'll travel up to River Road on the 20th so you look ahead to that one after this ball game after that it's Shawwater which will be a home game and then will end at Delhart and that one will be played in Delhart There you go. First and 10 for the Falcons. Jaco, handoff, Perry. Perry's hit in the backfield. Ball's out. That's in the hands of Milshew. Ooh, no, it was Bushland who came up with it. There was two Milshew meals there, and it looked like one was so close to getting that. Keeps the clock running. Three minutes left in the third quarter. Second down and 11 for the Falcons. Here we go. Jaco looking. That's another screen. That's going to be Tanner Adams. Gain of about three. Make it third down and eight. And that is what has hurt this Milshoe defense is that it is the wide receiver screen. And it's just Jaco being patient. Here comes the Milshoe defense game behind, and that ball is hit. They're going to say incomplete. Milshi getting on the backfield in that one will force a third down. I'm sorry, it'll be fourth down. About fourth and eight. Fourth down and eight, and Milshu's defense needs to come up big right here. Here we go, fourth down and eight. Jaco looking in trouble. Passes out and caught. And there's going to be a flag thrown way late. And that's going to be not only a first down. It's going to be maybe even a first and goal, I think. Probably 
personal foul against Milshoon. It's going to be first and goal for the Falcons. Uh, just a few yards shy. Be first and ten. Ball will be located at the thirteen. Here we go. Jaco looking, pump fakes, and that is just in now the hands of an open receiver. It's Max Rodriguez, the intended receiver. Two twenty-one. It's where the clock will stop with that incomplete pass. You know, man in motion, Jaco handoff, and it's going to be a false start. Jackson Feshk is the running back in for the Bushland Falcons. And he'll be located to the right of Jaco. Man in motion. And another false start. And I tell you what, Coach is not happy about that. Makes a second down and 20 now for the Bushland Falcons. Jaco steps back, looking pump fakes, and has an open number 12, and that ball is caught. Ramsey Martinez almost got a hold of that one, but touchdown, Cade Gavin. And that is his... Third touchdown of the night. Makes the score 55 to 18, 215 left in the third quarter. Here you go. Kick is going to be up and through the uprights. Fifty six eighteen is now your score with two fifteen left in the third quarter. And I'm not gonna say that this one is over. Not over till the last whistle is blown, but it's just gotten that much harder for this Milshu team to come up with a way to come back in this one. And I mean, you still have a whole quarter to play, but you are a long ways from tying this one back up. Daniel signs back to receive the kick. That ball is going to go end over end, and it's going to land at about the 25. And that is number six, Johnny Hernandez, who called the fair catch, and uh, the Mill Street offense will now set up shop. It'll be first and 10, 56, 18 is your score. Clock will run. Well, first and 10 at the 26. Wind picking back up. Temperatures are now right at about 50 degrees. And it's supposed to drop even lower than that. Overnight, it's supposed to be, I think, a low of 38. I think that's what I was seeing. First 10, it's going to be Josue Sigala, who escapes out the edge. And he's going to get up to the 40. There's a flag down, unfortunately. And that will be called back. That is holding on the offense
Here we go. First down and 20 for Milshu. Martin's looking. He's going to get it deep. That's open. Mauricio Herrera, and the pass is broken up. Second down and long for the Mules. Here we go. Passes out to Mauricio Herrera and tackled. And that will get Milshu a little bit closer to the start of the first down marker. Bill will be third down and about 12. Martin's looking, and he's just going to scramble out of the pocket, take it himself. He's going to tuck it and run, and he's just going to go out of bounds in between the sticks. Clock will stop at 38 seconds in the third quarter. Oh, and there's a flag on the play. It'll be holding against the Falcons. I'll tell you which coach on the Falcon side is not happy about that. Neither is the player. And that gives Milshu Life a fresh set of downs. It'll be first and 10. Here we go. Low snap. Martin's in trouble. Takes it himself up the middle. It's going to finally be brought down. He's going to. Like Turf Monster got a hold of him. Make it second down and about a few. There you go. Five seconds left. This will be the last play of this quarter, and that ball is going to be thrown deep. That's Ramsey Martinez. Did he catch that? He did. One-handed grab. Ramsey Martinez. Oh, my goodness. That's the end of the third quarter, and uh, a spark and a fire all at once. We're going to flip sides. It's 56-18, and oh, my goodness, what a catch by Ramsey Mar Martinez. Looking ahead, Milshu 6-0, Bushland 5-1 and one in this one. First district game, and they give your Milshu. You can't really be too upset about this one. I think you try to keep fighting, and you try to take what momentum you can and go down, score, still still fight until the very last whistle. And, the, and these guys have. They've really have shown resilience on the – Offense and defense, and you can't be too upset. And you lose this one, you'll move to six and one. Not a bad season, by the way. Up next, Milshu will have a bye week, turn around, and then they'll go to. River Road out there in Amarillo. And in the following week, they will host Shallow Water at home. So if you're Milshu, I think you keep fighting and you know that, that you have fought your hardest in this one to try to get back into it. 
Here we go. First and ten. It's going to be a handoff to Daniel Signs, and Signs is going to be swallowed up. So we gain of a few on the play. Second down, eight. Daniel signs to the right of Martins now. Four wide receiver sets. Shotgun. Martins looking to his left. Now looking to his right. Sebastian Carvin deep. Sebastian Carvin almost caught, and that's going to be a flag. And uh, I'm not one to say it's been there all night, but that has actually been there all night. pass interference against the Falcons and and Sebastian almost caught that anyways with one hand and that would have been really awesome give Milstreet a fresh set of downs and they will now be first and ten at about the 18 Martin's quarterback 11 14 left in the fourth quarter. Here we go. Martin's looking. He's in trouble. He's going to almost get rid of it. He's going to keep himself and get up the right side and will gain maybe a yard. And they won't even give him that. It's just going to be no gain. Signs now to the left of Martins. Go be second down and 11. Here we go. Martins just going to take it himself. He has some open real estate down the sideline on the left side, and it's going to be forced out of bounds. Martins will get in between the sticks, and this is four down territory, so you have two downs to get a first down. Would really love to just go score on the next play. Clock stopped at 11.01 in the fourth quarter. 56.18 is your score. Here we go. Martin's rolling out to his right. Good blocks. That ball is thrown and intercepted. Touchback. And that will be a turnover. With 10.54 left in the fourth quarter, Bushland Falcons will come out. Here we go. Jaco's still at quarterback. That's going to be a handoff up the middle to number five. And Bushland still has their both their starters out on the field still. Colton Reynolds is the running back. Here we go. Handoff is going to go up the middle again. Now is number five, Colton Reynolds, with a carry. Two 
Ten minutes left in this ball game. 56-18 is the score if you're just now joining us. As Bushens just rang out as much clock as they can. 9.40 left. Clock is still counting down. Jaco quarterback. To right him is Colton Reynolds. Reynolds on the carry. Hit in the backfield. He's finally going to be hit. The line of scrimmage is going to be tackled. That was number 78, Camilio Espinoza. I think from Ilshu's defense, you want to get the stop. Try to get that ball back in the hands of your offense. Give the offense a chance to go down and score. We'll see what happens on this next play. Bushland taking their time again. Second down and 10. 10 seconds left on the play clock. There you go, Jaco, and that's going to be a false start. So, no more second downs. Him makes second down and 15 for the Falcons. Going into this one, Milshu was 6-0, Bishlin 5-1, Delhart 5-1, Shawwater 3-3, three three. River Road 1-5. That Shawwater one, don't let that fool you. They've played a couple 4A teams, and uh, there's going to be a big tackle for loss. Jonathan Salinas getting in the backfield. Big tackle for loss will make it third and very long for the Bushland Falcons. Eight minutes left in this one. Third down long. Here we go, Jaco, handoff, and that's going to go nowhere. Another tackle right about the line of scrimmage. As Colton Reynolds was upended by a plethora of mules. We'll make it fourth and long, and, and here comes the punt team for the Falcons. And there's going to be a flag. It's a delay game. 6.52 left in the fourth quarter. 56-18 is the score. Back to receive. It's going to be Yahir Kazada. And that ball is over the head of the Bushland Falcon. And that pass is going to be complete. And you're going to have to get a tackle, and that's exactly what Ryan Dominguez does. Nowhere near the sticks, and there's a flag in the back. And that gives a first down to Bushland. Oh, my goodness. And I kind of want to see what happened there. I looked more downfield after the ball was thrown, and it looks like the fans are not happy with this one, saying that he was pushed into the the punter or what would be the passer. Here you go, fresh set of downs for the Falcons. 6.20 left in this one, and that is going to be a handoff up the middle to A.J. Marquez. 
gain of a few. And I don't know where that penalty was. He came down on the passer, but he was up in the air when that pass was gone, and there's no way to dodge him. And I have no idea why the flag was thrown on the few plays ago, but here we are, second down and six, and that should be a false start, and it's not. that carry will go nowhere will be a third down and four clock will continue to run 520 and counting down left in the fourth quarter we go two men in the backfield Handoff is good to go out to number seven, who's going to get a first down. That's going to be Max Rodriguez. Four forty left in the ball game. Fifty six eighteen is your score in this one. Milshu trailing. Here you go. Handoff is going to go out to number three, and he's just going to drive his way forward past a couple of meals. It's going to keep driving. There's a flag, and that's going to come back. That's going to be a holding on the Falcons. Holding call against the Falcons will take them outside the sticks. Pushes them back to the Milshu 44-yard line. There'll be a repeat first down. So it'll be first and about 15. Four minutes left in the ball game. Here you go, Jacko. Confusion on the handoff, and it's going to be swallowed up. There's a host of mules getting in there. That's going to be a loss of yards. That's going to be second down and 18 for the Falcons. 3.30 left in the ball game. Here we go. Out is number 17. That was Ty Purcell. And on the tackle. Austin Ryder, the receiver, tackled in between the sticks, so makes it third down and nine for the Falcons. Two thirty-five left in this ball game. Scores fifty-six eighteen. Milshu trailing. Here we go. Third down and nine. Handoff up the middle, and that's going to be Colton Reynolds brought down. So I'll make it a fourth down. About two minutes left in the ball game. 
Once again, if you're joining us, it's 56-18. Mule Shoe, a bye week next week. Then on to River Road for district game number two on the 20th of October. Fourth down. Here comes the blitz and it's going to work. Turnover on downs. Well, here comes the Milshu offense and if you're the Milshu offense, I think you want to come out and get at least one score before this game ends. Wind has now shifted directions. It is blowing more bottom to top of your screen than what it is right to left. Here we go. Martin's handoff to Signs. Signs is going to get up the right side, and there's going to be nowhere to go. No, he's going to keep pushing forward. He's going to be forced out of bounds. Clock will continue to run 120 and counting down. And unfortunately, Milstream will move to 6-1. This will be their first loss on the season. Bush will move to 6-1. Second down. Handoff is going to go to Signs And Signs has an open opportunity. He's going to need to get away. And he gets down the sideline, down to the 30. And it's going to be forced out of bounds at about the 28-yard line. Big run by Daniel Signs right there. Once again, it is a bye week next week. So much needed, needed rest by the Mule Shoe Mules as they'll travel the River Road on the 20th as the following week. There you go. Hand off. Sigala. Sigala found a hole. Sigala needs to beat one man. Touchdown, Mule Shoe. 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Josue Sigala gets a score. Twenty four fifty six is your score. And attempting the extra points gonna be Mauricio Herrera. Snap is high, and I tell you what, Ryan Dominguez is just gonna take it himself. He's gonna power his way in. Two point conversion good. Ryan Dominguez. 56, 26 is now your score. Forty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Fifty-six, twenty-six, but kicking it away to the Falcons. I, hey, Milsh, you might try to onside kick it anyways to see if they can get a hold of the ball. Once again, your district standings in this one. It's River Road 1 and 5 at the bottom. Shawwater 3 and 3. Del Hart 5 and 1. Bushland 5 and 1. Milshu 6 and 0 coming into this one. Here we go. Kicking it away is going to be Mauricio Herrera. And the kick is going to go end over end. is going to land out of bounds.
coach trying to hype up his defense to finish out the ball game. And the Falcons will come out in victory formation. And the Falcons will take a knee, and that will end this one. Your final in this one is going to be 56-26. Bushland comes out victorious. Milshew will move to 6-1. and one. Bushland will also move to 6-1. and one. Milshu 0 and 1 in district play. Bush will move to 1 and 0 in district play. And we have a bye week next week. Then the following week on the 20th, we will go to River Road. And that'll be the end of the ball game. I'm Elliot Davis, the voice of the Mills. We will see you in two weeks. Kill M Advertising, MuleshoeTV.com. Coverage of the Muleshoe Mules football brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Shippen's Body Shop and Autoplex, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Muleshoe Independent School District, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, Mohawk Auto Parts, WTG Fuels, Edward Jones and Stephen DeMint, McDonald's Restaurant, Dell Oil Company, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, and Irrigation Pumps and Power. Of course, our live stream broadcast powered by internet provided by Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, thanks to them.